Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. That's gross. Oh, yeah. You guys, here's a couple calls that I ran into that are rooftop units that had extremely dirty drains and drain pans. It's a very important process when you PM a unit to not only clear the drain, but clear the drain pan too. It gets really slimy, gets really dirty, and you got to make sure you clean those. If not, they'll clog up and they'll make a big mess. And Units with rooftop units, chances are they're commercial buildings. They have high traffic, which means they produce a lot of dust and dirt. And all that gets pulled into the filters through the evaporator and runs off the evaporator into the drain pan. So make sure you guys keep those clean. Here's a couple instances where they are not clean and they caused a big mess. Check it out. Right, this unit is allegedly leaking. Oh yeah, probably because the drain's clogged. She is backed up heavy, huh? It's flowing a little bit. Oh, that's loose on there. get some some water up here oh we got her we got her flowing now get some water and flush everything out good Filters for this unit are down there, and you can see one of them's pulled up. That sucks. But look at this. Look at all that crap in there. Oh my. my tool bag away some. <laughs> All right, we'll have to get, like I said, some water up here and, and flush this thing out. Let's pour some water right in here. it back up and flush it all. Go ahead out of there. There we go.
It's all coming. Take our brush and clean this pan. out put our dream back together and then flush it again drain out and then we'll pour the rest of our gallon down the clean out here to make sure all that's good <clears throat> trap there. Potential for a lot of crap to get in there. That J trap. A lot of crap come out of there, huh? So that one was in a very busy clothing store in Ocean City, Maryland, where they constantly have a lot of foot traffic in and out. Doors are constantly opening, closing. A lot of people in and out of that place. The more traffic you have, the more your drain's gonna get clogged up. So that's why that one was so bad. Next up, we have a haircutting place in Seaford, Delaware. Same situation, constant traffic, very busy haircutting place. People in and out all the time. Take a look. This unit has kind of been neglected on service, so this one's a little bit worse. All right, we got a unit here that's allegedly leaking. running right now doesn't seem like it's froze up I think this is our unit I don't think it's this guy because the space isn't that big so I'm pretty sure it's this guy here I don't have very much coming out of here they got a bunch of wet ceiling tiles let's open it up and see what's going on the unit certainly needs to be serviced We got the right one. That doesn't look, I mean, it's definitely dirty, but it doesn't look all the way clogged. This pan has certainly seen better days. Let's see if we can get it cleaned up some and see if we can find a crack or anything. Yeah, I just poured some water in there. It's really not draining that great. And it's it's cool this morning. It's actually in the 60s, so it's not running that much. Let's see, I'm just gonna pour some water right in here. See it is coming out but barely up good everything 
everything's glued. That's fine. We'll get it cleaned up. See, it's just coming up over the top here, so that traps. She's clogged. I don't know where the hell my trap brush is, but everything's glued here, so I'm just going to cut this right here and probably put a union in so we can service it later. HD on the pan. Let that sit on there and then brush it all out. Oh yeah. Look at that disgusting mess that came out of there. Just rinsing it all out right now. Trap cleaned out too. But all that that tri power HD sit in there and work. grab a, a union we do have some deterioration in this pan here right here which the main issue was the condensate being clogged but this pan's gonna have to be replaced too see if I can get some of that off there and at least put some pan spray on Got my trap back on with my union. I'm gonna flush that out a little bit more. I think that's good and clear now. gonna do my best to dry this pan up and put some pan spray on it um, that stuff will work wet also but I, I like to get it dry I don't think it's rusted all the way through honestly recommend a a new drain pan before it gets any worse
spray. It's the consistency of basically, um, what's that stuff? Um, Flex Seal. It smells like spray paint though. It acts just like spray paint. We're just gonna get a little bit in here and down there. dry a little bit <clears throat> so that'll at least stop it right there just in case the guy uh, declines the pan replacement at least we uh, we got it to stop rusting anyway Alright, we got her back together. All that nasty mess that came out of there. Not the chicken bone. The seagull probably took that. She's already draining. Yucker. Yeah guys, so really important to keep your drain pans clean also. You know, all that dirt gets built up in there and it goes into the trap and usually stays there and gets clogged up. So Make sure when you're cleaning your drain lines and your traps, you clean the drain pan also. Most of the time it's pretty simple to get to it also. Just take off a couple uh, blower door or filter door, you can usually get right to the pan and get it clean. So, all right guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.